Hey, guess what? That is not Lance Egan right there. Yes. I'm not Lance. <laughs> Lance is uh, representing our great country of the United States of the Americas in Spain in the World Championships. So we called Brig off the bench. Yes. And Curtis is even being brave by letting Brig and I sit next to each other. That's the by design. Usually when Briggs sits next to me, it's because I have to keep adjusting the phone books we put under his chair <laughs> to make him look taller, right? No, wrong oh. way. Yeah. All right, sit there up. we go. Sit up there. Wait, where's, what's mine? Be careful, don't hit your knee. Oh, yeah, I feel like a man. Gosh dang it. Yeah, but you anyway, do look smaller because you're further back. We thought we'd have a little bit of fun with this podcast today. So if you follow our shop, you know that Briggs and I have some banter going back and forth. And most people think that I'm just mean to you all the time. You are. No, I'm not. Oh, okay. See, that's when you're the boss. Your 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 opinion matters the most. The uh, pre-podcast document that Brigham signed oh, gu- yeah. guaranteed he yep. couldn't backdock. Right, right. Do you know what's cool though? What is that? I edit these. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best. So you're gonna edit it. I could make your life an editing nightmare though. That's fair. But I you, could just uh, say stupid, sh- like, just, <laughs> he's going to beat that out. He doesn't need to, right? All right. So the thing about old Brigham here. So I have been outdoors fishing my whole life, and I wanted one thing. I just wanted to see a black bear in the wild. I totally wanted to. And it took me till I was like 44 to see a black bear in the wild in, Well, like while fishing. I saw one like in Lake Tahoe by a golf course. Doesn't really count. Wild. So freaking Brigham, every time he goes out, there's some story about some wild animal chase. Some a cougar chased me off the hill, or I almost <laughs> died because a badger was in the hole and there was eight feet of snow. So we And a manatee to, chased me down. We need to talk about this, Brigham, because like I don't know if I fully believe you on this. However, Brigham has started to get proof. Oh, yeah. Right? And you have video footage that you can, you can yeah, cut into this. Yeah, and I will, th- I will throw yeah. up the footage. He'll throw up the footage. That's a bad play on words, On this Okay, it's okay. He'll put the footage. I will yeah. put the footage on the screen. Okay. I'll all toss right. it up there. So. So you can see it all, see the proof. All right. I had to start recording. If you hear the stories alone, they're not quite believable so yeah. the video proof would not be good quite believable. and so that's why i started recording them bringing them in <laughs> yeah. so that yeah. the guys at the shop and in the warehouse what do you would do believe though, like me. to to see a bear or a mountain lion it's like a fleeting moment do you have like a quick draw holster on your phone where you just pull it out hey siri there's a bear there's a bear <laughs> and siri knows what to do because no, it's you no we just make eye contact long enough that well, i can long yeah enough. I'm, I'm intimidating you. no dude that bear's looking at you like he wants mm, to eat that me. That thing I could probably eat in one bite. I pooped something out like that <laughs> <Yeah>. this morning. <laughs> I could eat him in one bite, but I'm going to be sick afterwards. So I'm going to stare at him for a little bit. <laughs> anyway, so I think we need to start out by having you tell a story, the, the infamous bear, bear spray incident. Bear spray at strawberry? The bear spray at strawberry. Okay. Because, <laughs> like, all I know is I got back from, like, a weekend – and Brigham comes in, and I know he did not want to tell me this story. So tell him. Go ahead. Oh, Brig. I tried to skip the bear spray, bear spray. Part of the story. Yeah. yeah. The, other, the other, the other part is pretty interesting. Here's the other thing: is Briggs' wife is super good friends with us as well. So if I ever need like details, I just text Chan. And she will tell the truth. She will tell the truth. Yeah. Too much of the truth. Too much. No, yeah. it's, it's there's Typically. no such thing as too much truth, Brigham. It's all just the truth. It's just the truth or not the truth. That's fair. Okay. All right. So <laughs> speaking of fair, go ahead and start your story that I don't quite believe. Okay. I was, so I go to Strawberry quite a bit. So it's one of my favorite reservoirs, Strawberry Reservoir. Congratulations. And I've been told multiple times by my wife not to fish after dark because she says there's, I'm. <laughs> and the raccoon could eat you. Okay. Got it. So I didn't have a gun. For protection, I did not have, or I did have bear spray at this point because of other wild animal encounters. But that comes in later. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it does. If you guys, if, like if anybody's listening to this story on a drive or maybe exercising, 
just sit back and enjoy. That's the purpose of the, we're, this is kind of ASMR-ish wild animal time. Yeah, you get to listen to the soothing voices of Cheech and Curtis and Brigham. I'll make some whooshing. <laughs> All right. All right. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I'll sit okay. Back. Okay. We are oh, sitting by back. By the way, we need to point out this awesome sign by Harry. Our hairline. We're adding to our pseudo neon. These aren't real neon. They're so LEDs. If you want a fly fishing company and you want fly fish food to put a neon sign behind the podcast desk, reach out. Which we are, we do need to like our Sasquatch sign is good. If Cheech holds his head just right, if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll see his his uh, hair ears yeah that's a real hair ear all right Brig, this is sorry how this works hey. you're gonna have to keep we're, your train of thought. All right. we're already six minutes into this go for podcast okay. we haven't even started with we haven't even gotten the good story yet so i was fishing i hike in usually a long way i don't have a boat i have a float too but i like to hike in so i hike in and i was fishing and it was getting dark so i was like okay i better start hiking out and i was like let's cast one more time like always yeah. right yeah Cast in, and Cheech is going to make fun of the big fish story, but that was the biggest fish I'd ever caught in my life at, to that point. And you landed it. I landed it. Okay. 17 I have inches, that video. 17 I have inches. that video as well. So I videoed, I was videoing that, getting, you know, the hero shot with the big cutthroat. And then I let the fish go, and then it was dark at that point. <laughs> what the? That was my wife trying to call me. On Maria. She's telling you not to make fun of me. She knows. She, yeah. She, she would never say such a thing. All right. Sorry. So okay. Anyway. So big fish. So I start walking out, start hiking out, and I get to this little finger in my car, my Santa, the Hyundai Santa Fe, my, so my wife's car was mm -hmm. parked at the end of this finger, and I was up on the mountain bike trail at this point. Yeah. And there was, I heard, and I was listening to music because I know there's mountain lions around because I've seen them before. Because that's always a good thing to do. Were you yeah, listening so Blair, to John Cougar Mellencamp? ACDC. <laughs> and that's the thing. I thought about it now. I was listening to ACDC, so it was a high-pitched voice, so it probably sounded like a mountain lion screaming. No, you bring them. No. Listen, okay. You, I'm going to keep going. No. There's no... I'm not listening. With freaking guitar in the background, all right? Have you ever heard mountain lion? Like a mountain lion's sounds that they make. Not like. They are the wildest. They can make. Okay, they Brig. can sound like a bird tweeting. Okay, right now. Pull up mountain lion. Okay, hold on. Sounding like a tweety well, bird. Hold on. How am I going to be young Jamie here? Do it. I'm the one that runs this thing. <laughs> I'm telling the story. Mountain lions sound like bird. a bird. Okay, keep going with your story. I'll no, no, it's going to, it'll be. Hear a bird chirping, it might actually Boom. be Click a Click that video line. and hit play. No, you did one Google search on this. Hit play. I did. It's. I'm just it's saying, they make the most insane sounds, and they respond to the most insane sounds as well. They communicate like this. So, okay, got it. If I always just go, Look up here. <laughs> <laughs> So if you were a hunter of mountain lions, you go find a tree stand... You blast Angus Young over the speakers. They, here they come, right? Is that what you're telling me? That's not what I'm saying. You're saying? I'm not saying that. Okay. I'm saying that I'm playing ACDC to try and On scare your... animals away. Okay. Yep. There's right. there's bears up at, at Strawberry. Yeah, and so I'm know, and it's dark. Mode fans, so yeah, gonna come exactly. Right yeah. Exactly. ACDC. Okay. They're scared. So I start hearing this like, sound. A, yeah, it sounds like almost like like a meow, but like. Like a screeching meow, do and it was. Sound. Do the sound. What did it sound like? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, you guys are laughing, but I'll play the audio. It's. Oh, it's on my other computer. <coughs> I'll throw it up. It's like. Hey, dude, little Tim. What does a kitty what say? What does a lion say? <laughs> <laughs> what does a mountain lion say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure something is tearing, is eating a deer, because I saw a bunch of deer, like a loud noise, deer run.
But there's something tearing into something over there and growling. Oh man, I don't know what to do. Oh my gosh. Quick! Bear spray ready. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's going away. Hey! 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 I think I see it. Oh my gosh. Hey! 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 It's still here. Okay, it's gone. I thought it stopped and was coming. Get! Oh, what am I? Oh, there is so much adrenaline. Oh, almost there. Oh. Listen, so I keep walking, so I'm like, what is that sound? Anytime You're Dan laughing. To lie, he always says, listen. Listen. <laughs> listen. listen. Okay. So I keep, so I hear this weird sound like that. And I'm like, what is that? Wow. And so I turn the music off. And that sound wow. happens again. It sounds like Gary the, the And I was like, what, what is that? And so I start walking. And so the, it's in front of me on the trail. My car's in front of me on the trail. The water's to my left and it's a, Straight hill. Mountain Straight to up, my yeah. right. So I keep walking towards this thing. And in my mind, I've convinced myself at this point that it's a bobcat. I'm like, I'm not even thinking this is a mountain lion. Like, because yep. if it's a mountain lion, I'm going to crap my pants. And so, I mean, obviously, at the, by the time I got done, I'm like, there's no way this is a bobcat. Bobcat would be way, way gone by then. So I keep walking towards it and it gets, it comes toward me at the same time and it's getting closer and closer. So I stopped. And right as I stopped across the finger from me, I heard like a um, do your mountain lion you screech. Heard, you heard a squabble. You do it. <laughs> okay, it was a lot deeper than that. <laughs> deeper. Keep deep. Roar. Mm, uh, high. <laughs> okay, anyway. And then Briggs says, I'm going to take those Vienna sausages out of my pocket. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Cheech. I, in my pocket. I would only have. Big boy catch up on them. I would only have those in my pocket if Cheech was there so we could feed him snacks so he doesn't get angry. <laughs> Hey, I would appreciate that. Yeah. All right. So I hear this loud growl across the, the finger of the lake. And it, this mountain lion had take, taken down a deer. And so the deer's, the baby deer or whatever it was, was yelling. It's called a fawn. Yeah. A okay. Fawn, mm -hmm. baby deer, Bambi, was just screaming. And then I saw deer up on the horizon run up on the road. So there was like three or four does. And then the fawn was getting Dead. torn apart by this lion. And that's when I started recording. So I was like, okay, I got to record this because something's happening over here. Some, there's another lion in front of me. So I start recording because I was like, Cheech is not going to believe me. That was my thought. Dude, that's the thing, though. Like, you got to start thinking of self-preservation if it's really that bad. Anyway, so I hit record. And I start videoing this. And I start yelling back to this thing. To what, were, what were you saying? Hey, nobody likes you. God. Yeah, I was saying some. You big scary animal. Do you know how much adrenaline goes through your body when you have when you know that there's an animal? You and I didn't turn on a flashlight. I was like, I don't Actually, even. I don't want to know what this is. We don't know. So why don't you tell us what that feels like? We don't know. I, I've been. I've never been stalked by an animal. Like when you are like walking in Walmart and you see the pastries. Okay. Does your blood start to boil? Yeah, a little like bit. You, but like, not like I got it. Adrenaline maybe, maybe rush? Maybe not cougar level. 
Then you purchased a donut. Okay. It's probably very similar. All right. So, all right. That, me that with mountain helps lions. me understand a little <laughs> bit better. Anyway, so <clears throat> I lost my train of thought. So you were in the dark. You're started, starting to record this. There's some carnage going on. Carnage, carnage going on. <laughs> yes. And so then I, so I grabbed the bear spray. because like, I have bear spray. So I grabbed the can of bear spray, and I popped the white cap off just you in were, case. You were locked and loaded. I, I had to have been within, like, at, at one point, I had to have been within, like, Tell me 10 though, yards. Brig, are you, like, Call of Duty akimbo style with both hands? Are you double fisting? Are no, so playing? I had my phone. Okay. And then on my thumb was the bear spray. Dude. And then in my other, I had my huge El Jefe fish pond net. So and so I had that in my other hand to make myself look bigger, you know? <laughs> I need all I can get. So I never What'd you do with your fly yeah. rod? With, it was in my net hand. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I had my fly rod. No, I actually had collapsed my fly rod and put it in my bag ah. on the side pocket. These cougars are watching you and they're just like, uh... No, this this kid needs all the help he can. Yeah. yeah, let's just let him go. So I start walking because I was like, I got to get out of here. So I start walking towards this thing, and I'm just yelling at the top of my lungs. And this thing walks with me all the way, and it's it's chirping back at me, and I'm yelling back at him the whole way to my car. And it was like a good two, 300 yards away. So you're just sitting there chilling in the dark, talking to a freaking mountain. Yeah, and so I get to the end of the finger. Well, hold on. Did you ever consider that maybe you're saying, hey, bro, I got some cold drinks back at my car. Let's go get some. And he's saying, yeah, let's do it. And you keep talking back and say, all right, let's go. And he's saying, okay, I'm, I'm there. Maybe yeah. Maybe he's just confused. That, just yeah, that, communicating. Yeah. That's exactly what I thought. Because if, if it was like, hey, dude, I'm going to come eat you, you would say, no, don't do it. He wouldn't say, yeah, I think I'm still going to do it. And then you say, no, don't do it. He's just going to eat you. So I think this is a friendly cougar at this point. Well, the one across the finger, Cheech, was not a friendly cougar. Yeah, because he's jealous because now this cougar already has a friend named Brigham. It doesn't have friends. He's not yelling at you. He's yelling at the other cougar. Yeah. He's got FOMO. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I get to the end of the finger, and I have the cougar tearing. Up. You can still hear, still hear. I could. On the phone, you can't. So you're going to say I'm lying about that, but. Mm, no. Behind me, I can hear that going on, and then in front of me is the other one. So I keep walking up to the. There's a parking lot at the top of this little ravine, and this lion follows me all the way to the top of the ravine. There's a little grove of trees next to where my car is parked, and that lion sat in the grove of trees as I got to my car. I hit my horn on my car, started it, and I could still hear the lion outside. That's going scary. Up. Yeah. She's doing this. So. But when I got to my car, I threw all my gear inside of my car, and I shut the trunk. Yeah, yeah. So what? What? Was and the I was gear like, you threw in? So you threw "Hold in. on, hold on, hold on." Okay. So and I'm like, I'm gonna bounce. Like I, I like my, I was like, breathing super heavy. My adrenaline was, like, I was shaking, and I was like, I'm just gonna get out of here. So I start driving, and there's a little hill right at the beginning before you drop back down. So I'm going up this hill, and right as I'm passing on the on down the hill from me towards the lake right as i'm passing the other side of the finger where that lion is tearing apart the deer i cannot breathe like my uh, windpipe my windpipe gets shut off my eyes start watering and i remembered that i forgot to put the white cap <laughs> back on the bear spray and i put it on the tote like i set the bear spray in there nice but it, when i was driving it fell off the tote and it hit and it sprayed inside of the Santa Fe and I was being suffocated by bears. <laughs> so what was your choice? Stay so, in and tough it out like most people would do or well, jump out of the car like a crazy man? Jump out of the car like a crazy man, forget to put the car in park. Okay. <laughs> so as I'm sitting there bent over like spitting, Dying. trying to catch my breath, I look up and my car is, luckily it was still going up hills, but it was slowly climbing up the hill. <laughs> So I have to run, jump back in the car, put it in park, jump out, finally recover. And you turn around, and the cougar is sitting right yeah, there, no. laughing his head off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. But I had to open all the doors. I had to sit there, and I was right in line with where that, and I could still hear that cougar like feeding on this deer right below me. And I had to sit there for about a good 30 minutes to let my car air out. So what we've learned here. 
is that cougars, as has been studied, do not like spicy food. And when you sprayed yourself with bear spray, they're like, ah, oh, mm. no, we ordered the mild. You gave us the spicy, yeah. and we're going to go eat somewhere else. That's exactly. a good tactic. Yeah. Would you do it again? I have. Yeah. You have. Yeah. I just did it actually a couple of weeks ago. Not the encounter, but the fish that same stretch of land. Was this the story that you told me? You're like, dude, I'm going to tell you the story, but you can't say anything about it on social media? No. So I told you the story just about the mountain lion portion. And then before I told you the bear sprays, yeah. I said, listen, this next part. <laughs> you can't put on social media. You cannot tell anybody on social media. And what did I do? You told everybody. And I told this. I made a story of it right like oh, five yeah. seconds after that. Yep. <laughs> you knew that was going to happen. Oh, yeah. But anyway, so. So that I happened, like, and I had the audio. I brought it to work the next day, and no one questioned it. At some point, you will inject that audio into this yes. video. Yes. Slash so podcast. you guys be the judge. <clears throat> now, you guys got to know that not only is Brigham sketchy, he's like one of the sketchiest. And so, like, little sounds on a phone aren't going to do much for me because, for all I know, chance is in the bushes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why it sounded so weird because it was a human. If, but it, if you – I'll put the audio in the video too. Hold on, though. Bring him. Are you going to play as Tweety Bird? This no, I, I, no, I found some other more important things. I did a quick Google search of mountain lion deaths in Utah. So Zero. No, they kill people. If they're on a running trail. Hold on, Brigham. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. I got Google up. They're more of an expert at this than you. Is this going to turn out like the sixth sense? No. no. <laughs> Curtis, <laughs> Curtis, you got to stop watching so much freaking Netflix, yeah. Netflix, man. All right. It says, the question is, how many people have been killed by mountain lions in Utah? And I quote, in the last 100 years, less than two dozen people have been killed by mountain lions in North America. Yeah. And no humans have ever been killed by a mountain lion in Utah for perspective. And this is where I think your bear spray is going to come in. Around 20 people are killed every year by cows. <laughs> where does how bear spray? <laughs> no, no, that's what I'm saying is you go and cross a meadow with a bunch of killer cows. Spray those. Suckers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. Because the mountain lions are not going to kill you. It's going to be the cows. It's, it's going to be, be the cows. The cows. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, so. statistically, yeah, or lightning. No, so, that's. I know they're, they're not going to attack me unless they're tearing apart a deer and they think I'm competition for their food. That's why it was so scary. Okay, so. But. So if we all I three of us. I have done it again, though. Like, I, I go back all the time. But if the three of us were walking through a meadow and a cougar started to charge us, what's the strategy there? Yeah, Just what do you do? run faster than Cheech. <laughs> Because I will freaking taekwondo. It's it's oh, what? It's but, but. You need to get up to your mic, oh, dude. I have a loud enough voice. I will freaking taekwondo <laughs> that sucker. Yeah, I don't think a mountain lion. Because that dude in Colorado, like a little freaking skinny runner dude, choked one out. Remember oh that? yeah, yeah. Freaking that was like a wasn't that a few months after the one here in Utah? Joe oh yeah, had that one charge yeah. him because of the yeah. had a couple years ago. Yeah. yeah. Dude, rear naked choke. I look at my neighbor's Great Dane all the time and I just fantasize. Didn't it. he? He didn't just choke it out. He killed it. Yeah, he killed he it. He suffocated it yeah. by giving it in Dude, the head. Oh, that's pretty what good. Do you think? They don't understand the tap. <laughs> that's why. Like you choke hey, out. Uh, 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 hey, do you give up? Yeah, do you give like, up? Hey. Tap out. Okay. He's like whispering good. in his ear. Yeah. Tap out. Tap out. Tap out. I won't even tell anybody. Night, night. <laughs> night, night, Tommy. Night, night, Tommy. This was a win for Jerry. Oh, Thanks. dude. <laughs> Gosh, dang it. All right, so now this was the first of the mountain lion stories. And you came in, and so I love to tell this story in my own words. And I, I, I exaggerate a little bit of it. But Brigham has had other mountain lion adventures. And this is where Quick Draw Siri comes in. And this video is one that really freaking – it made me start being a – believer oh yeah i sent you the video yeah. when you were with your wife and you're like holy crap yeah usually when he sends me a video it's these birds we call black tail cock <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't one of those it wasn't a black tail cock -hawk. it was a legit cougar, cougar. So cougar. tell us that story brig 
We'll listen just quietly like we have no, this you whole won't. time. No, you won't. Yes, so sir. I was fishing. You guys have been to the – well, just like strawberry, but you guys have been to this spot. I went – I was fishing by myself again in the mountains. Way and more remote. Than way, yeah, mm-hmm. way more remote than strawberry. And there's a, a little river, stream, creek, whatever you want to call it. I was up on higher ground, and I was walking, and in the creek I heard thrashing going on. There's some tigers doing uh, it. This is... <laughs> <laughs> Squatch is duly Squatch concerned. Squatch is ready. Scott, Squatch, come here. Hey. Anyway, so we get... All right, so you see some tigers. So I look trout. down. Two t- one tiger had the other tiger in its jaws on the, the side. So like on its flank, another 17-inch... Call that the T-bone. Boom. Right here, and that's a bad thing. And it was, they were just rolling in the river, and I thought it was super bizarre, so I pulled my phone out. They went under. One of them tapped out. And then they came back up and did it again, So I and then they went back down again, so I was thinking they were going to come up a third time. So I start explaining what's going on because I was going to show Chance, like, hey, check this out. Chance is my wife, by the way, for the viewers who don't know She's Chance She's the is. coolest of the Wilsons. Yeah. And the next I, is Kate, his brother. I agree with the first part. Second part, not so much. My Lake, brother. Lakely's definitely up there above you, yeah. his daughter. Oh, I All agree. Right. All right, so. So I'm videoing this, and I just happen to look to my left, just upriver from me, and there's a mountain lion in the trees, just like, like sticking its head out underneath. Yeah, no, underneath. No, the, dude, he was undressing you with his eyes. I saw the video. <laughs> He's just he sitting there. That. It's staring like the at me. Dude, 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 drumstick with a fly rod. <laughs> and so the, so the camera is still on the tr- on the river, and I'm looking to my left, and I'm like, oh, shh. Yeah. He, and I just move the camera super slow, and clear as day, you can see the mountain lion staring at me for a good, I mean, I don't know how long he was there before I saw him, probably the whole time. Dude. And then he, like, he meow. turns around, ducks, yeah. He meow, was doing meow, crouching tiger, meow. turned into hidden dragon. So yeah. now you're screwed. Are those yoga poses? You gotta watch the movie, bro. Crouching tiger, hidden dragon. You've never seen that? Do we need to talk about the movie? I don't like, like to watch the same movies. What's your you favorite do? movies? Your favorite movie ever? My favorite movie ever. Little Giants. That's what, <laughs> when I was little. So like still what, a great like film. Last week, the still Sandlot. A great film. I like Sandlot. Sandlot. Right. So, yeah, it's a classic. Anyway. So, sorry about the old movie reference. Crouching them. Tiger, Hidden Dragon, whatever that means. But, yeah, this mountain lion leaves. <clears throat> the video was so convincing that we even went back, all three of us. Like, what, was it the next day, two days later? We went Maybe back. a few days. But yeah, we went back. I brought the big camera just in case it, we couldn't get as close. Did you see any uh, prints under the tree? Under that tree? Yeah. Specifically, not that. We just saw a big pile of cougar scat, and in the middle was the trigger to some pepper spray. Yep. Some pear spray. Ooh. Maybe it's that same cougar With an air strawberry. freshener from Briggs Car. But that little area where, where I fish on that river, like I've had mountain lion run down the tree next to me before. I was fishing on the other side. I've heard super loud, like tree branches. Sasquatch. Cra- yeah. yeah. Crashing down. And this thing, there's a huge thud on the other side of the tree, and then this thing takes off into the grass, walk around the tree, and show, show huge, them. big. Dude, there's no cat that's that big on the foot, bro. Have you ever seen a cougar in the wild? Yeah. Have you seen a bear in the wild? Yeah. Yeah. What else? No, you haven't. A bear? You said you saw one in Tahoe. No, well, I, we I did see I one did fishing. See one. Fishing on the Boulder Mountain. Mm-hmm. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Okay. All right. So we have two cougar interactions with Brigham. Unverified. Unverified. No, the the second one is 100%. Oh, but for we our fans, in, are not verified we yet. We'll inject the, the video evidence. Oh, is in that line. Check that out. Oh, my goodness. It's crazy. Like, oh, there he goes. So I was gonna tell you, there's two fish fighting right there. Leave it in the comments when you see this, but 
You tell me that that cougar is not just looking at Brigham with googly eyes thinking, man, this is going to be a nice midday snack. He's just, he's a little freaking butterball. He's just a yeah, the little worst, soft little just boy. Just deciding how he's going to bring him down. The yeah. worst part about this is she's just saying this, and it's true, but like this was definitely like an adolescent yeah. mountain lion. This wasn't even a big mountain lion. <laughs> so, yeah. so why are you even scared of him? I wasn't. I you kept, know. I kept fishing. No, dude, that. I thought you said you took off after you saw that. No, it the mountain lion took off. Oh, okay. So you won. Yeah, I kept yeah. fishing. He was watching you that whole time. Oh, yeah. And you just didn't care? You know why? Because you read the statistics. Zero people have been, ever been killed well, by a mountain lion in Utah. And it was because of that first experience at Strawberry. Like, now I can be around and know that there's oh, mountain lions. you, like, learned their lingo because you sat well, and talked to Steve, Steve French, we the were, mountain lion? We were fishing down south with Spencer, and there was a huge den, and you and Spencer stayed up on the trail, and I went into this den it where was there was just, den. like, it was like carnage. Carcass yeah, after carcass. Car and I went down there inside. Went down there and probably said, hey, guys, bring them. You know, just bring them up here. Stripped Everybody down up. naked, slathered himself in peanut butter, and just sat there. Yeah, I got my <laughs> spicy sauce on me today again. Uh, anyway, so. I had bear spray. We did see that one. <clears throat> the next one, though, is, is funny, too, because um, on the Provo River, there's a, there's a canyon called Bear Canyon. Like, it's just one of the stretches of the river. Where'd you fish today? Bear Canyon. And, like, literally the month before, I'm like, why do they call it Bear Canyon? I guarantee nobody's ever seen a freaking bear in Bear Canyon. <laughs> literally the next week, Brig shows up. Like, picture of a black bear, plain as day. Not picture, video. I have oh, the yeah, video. video. Yeah, I'll sh There's a bear right there. Oh, my goodness. A big freaking bear. He's looking you up and down too, like you're. He's just staring at me. That was a big black bear too. It was a big bear. Had you replenished your bear spray though? I didn't have. No, I was no, on the Provo. See? There was you're like the tubers Provo? going by. In what section of the Provo? What's it called? Bear Canyon. Bear Canyon. So yeah. should you and have the, had your bear that's spray? That's legit. That's that's fair. Really, bear spray. I'm not. I don't hate to break it to you, Brig, but if you have bear spray, it's for grizzlies. Black bears aren't going to do anything. You don't think a black bear will do anything? No. You? They're like cats. They just run off, bro. I don't know. What was that one kid that got taken out of his tent? That was a few years ago. Was it a black bear? It was a black bear. Yeah, black. Yeah, like, but the kid probably hadn't taken a shower. He probably I've had, heard like. Dude, if, that's, he probably had like a freaking pack of. Like, if a, kids. like if a bear's charging you, what are you taught? What's that? Like, what are you taught? All growing up, if, if a bear's Play charging dead. you in the woods, Dude. you roll up in a ball and cover the back of your neck. No, that's a grizzly bear. Exactly. Why don't you do it for a black bear? Because they'll freaking eat you. Exactly. You, fight back. you just said they run away. Like they a... do. But if they do <laughs> charge you, I'm just talking statistics here. I'm trying to keep you alive as best I can, and it's not working. So I think we're going to have to just move on to the next one. Yeah, I was just fishing. I looked up. And there was a bear staring at me across the river. I was on the other side of the river, luckily. But I don't, the bear wasn't aggressive. You did so. Hey, Siri, quick drop. <laughs> yep. Video. Videoed it. Bear spray. Bear spray. Dude, yeah, because I literally don't know anybody who runs into as many animals as you. Mm -hmm. Had don't. a badger. Yeah, you and, With you my and little your brother, brother were, it was like fishing in a sketchy snowstorm. Yep. Chances are already pissed. Because you said, hey, babe, I'll be home at 7. It's already like 8 o'clock. It was like, dude, it was like 10. 10 p.m. In, in the winter? Well, because, well, yeah, well, well, we went out. We were on the Henry's Fork, and we went out onto this island, you could call it. And it's in the winter, so it's super low mm -hmm. water. But for some reason, they raised the flows while we were out on this island, and we could not get back. Like, it, it was super, super high water, raging water. So we were stuck on this little island so we're and the snow on the island is like knee deep i have a video Ankle deep i have a video of cade okay. i found <laughs> that climbing I, we don't have the badger on video but we have cade like trudging through the snow and it is up to his thighs dude we're gonna ask cade about the badger and so he's behind me we're walking through this snow trying to find a spot where we can cross and there's a tree that had fallen over and i go to step over this tree and i look down <laughs> 
down right as I'm stepping over this tree and there's a badger in this like under had burrowed underneath this tree. You and were it, basically stepping on his house. And it yeah, and it lunged out at me. Dude the... And so I jumped back and I just took off running. And <laughs> I ran past Cade. Cade was like two Cade was looking down, he didn't even know what was going on. So I ran past him and he's like, What's wrong? And he just like turns You're out just I was like, run past Yeah, dude. <laughs> and I was like, There's a badger. Dude. And Cade looks and you could just hear this thing just growling. So Cade took off running as well. He's like, why did you just run past me? Like, you didn't even say anything. You just took off. Okay. So then my dad and brother had to come out there and had to throw us, tie a rope to a, to a thermos with rocks in it, launch it to us so it had, he, they could get it across the, that part of the river. With, and the other end of the rope was tied to our, my float tube so that when we caught it and they had to – Brought the float tube to us, then we had to throw the thermos back each time. So Kate and so my brother, float tube we got home at 11 p.m. But and it you was cross the river on a float tube. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And my older With an brother attacking badger. Yeah. Behind. And my old, yeah, chasing oh us now. Oh my gosh. Brigham. So he, they pulled us across, and the the temperature was like, it was like 15 degrees out. Kate had fallen in the river earlier in the day, so he was soaked. Dude. Yeah. It was, so I got some bad news for you, Brigham. I have some crazy buddies, and they've got pictures of them holding badgers, like, by their the, rough, yeah. the scruff of their neck. Hey. Why didn't you do that? It was cold. Yeah, but if he comes I at you. Not really. Obviously, that's his weak no point. No way. Because they just, like. Your badgers will rip you up, dude. No, dude. Listen, I kept it simple. Statistics here. Fancy Google <laughs> oh <my> search. <laughs> <laughs> Here's my Cheech's Google search. And this is really hard to do this level of research. I think this is a skill that I probably need to do a master class on. Just Google it. Here's my, my terms of my search. Do badgers attack humans? If they feel threatened, I bet. What's the statistic, Cheech? So there are five words that this starts this way. Badgers do not attack humans. Unless with other species as their interactions with other species including people tend to be neutral hmm. hold on only cases when a badger attacked a person were when they're dumb they cross the river they're stuck on a sandbar and one tries to step on its house runs past his little brother who's already freezing cold then they'll <laughs> attack is it lance that has the video of that badger chasing him on the river no it was one of spencer's friends spencer Spencer, oh, yeah. and he has video. the video of that. And yeah. that badger was ticked. Yeah. Like, Let's see if we can get the video and put it in there. But anyway, otherwise, the preferred response of a badger when they encounter a human being is to walk away. Not this badger. Just walk away from its house. It'll leave you alone. I did. I know. And it did leave me alone. Cade was still like within three feet of this thing, and it was just like you could hear it just. So he can yes. confirm the story. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Cade can confirm it. So while Brigham, I think, you I mean, every fish that he's caught in his whole life is giant. It's huge. It's a beast, you know. I can they, and, but it. the photos, they, they look big. No, dude, I can respect it. It's fine. They look big. Why? Because I'm small. <laughs> okay, I'm glad. <laughs> and the uh, fish look yeah. small that you hold. I know. Because you're big. So, like, <laughs> so we can kind of believe you because you have got some evidence but i'm just telling you that like just because you you have some video evidence doesn't mean that every freaking time you go out there's some wild story about how you got chased off an island by a bald eagle that well had... these aren't even the wildest stories we need to hear the bigfoot well, stories at some, she even some know other this episode we'll change yeah oh did you, you didn't she, hear the big she doesn't stories. know this story it oh, was lance right. yeah, yeah, yeah so in another episode dedicating one to our friend Sasquatch up on the wall. We'll do a Bigfoot episode. Oh, in fact, me. if you have Wait. a Bigfoot story out in podcast land. So you guys will talk about Bigfoot. I'm, I'm totally not a believer. I don't think he's out there. That's okay. I'll make you a believer. I only have one debate on Bigfoot that I can't say on the podcast. And if you guys message me directly, I'll ask you the question, but I can't say it now. I can't say it. All right. So... <laughs> So if you do have a Bigfoot story, send it on into us for this next episode. We do at some point. We'll do a Bigfoot episode. A Bigfoot episode. Well, yeah. any other stories, Brig? That we dude, missed? I wrote. Like I wrote less? a list. Ones that I have other videos of, like 
minks but you guys, i mean i don't think that's uncommon to like have minks walk up on like your wading boots on the edge of the river no like, that happens every day dude like minks like just like that's happened to Cade and I on the Henry's Fork. I have a video of it on the Provo, like Mink just coming up, walking. Dude, I he think he tries to bite. He tries to like he looks at my streamer like he wants to eat it, and he like goes to follow it. Dude, so I had to pull it up so he wouldn't eat it. Where'd he go? Oh, hey, dude, he spooked me. Don't touch that thing. That won't be very happy for you. Don't do it. Do you know who you are? Have you ever seen the never ending story? As a condition of your employment, you're, you're like required I said, to watch that. Like I said, we don't watch the same. No, hold on. As a condition yeah. of your employment, yeah, have seen you have to story. watch that the never in the next three days. The never-ending story. Even my kids have seen it. I might have seen a, it, There's a great know. hunter named Atreyu, and he's at one with nature. I think that's the closest parallel yeah. we've found to you. It kind Brig. of looks like a girl. We dub the Atreyu. Yeah. Atreyu. And you got big responsibility, so I, I want you to watch that movie, and maybe in a future podcast we can give a breakdown of what you think. Okay. It's like there's a dog that's a, also a dragon that has freaking gross scales and huge nostrils named Falcor. Anyway. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, it's yeah. true. It's true. What and year I, was this It was released? 80s. A couple years ago. 80s. A couple years so, ago. Anyway. So, Drop some comments if you have cool uh, wildlife stories. Yeah, yes. if you uh, if you have stories, shoot them to us. We just wait. Let me see this. Let me see if I if I know any of these stories. You know the one with Chance, my wife. But we could, I we can share those yeah, on the maybe, Bigfoot. Maybe we just need to have a story time podcast. <coughs> that's well, what I think this, that's what that's, most people will enjoy is yeah. the story aspect of what yeah. we're doing. You know, sometimes you just need to take the fishing aspect out of it just for some more enjoyment different enjoyment but this is all fishing related these are all oh, yeah. fishing stories these are all are happening yeah. while fishing the, okay. the story that i always get a kick out of is when you were over at your neighbor's house and the wolves came in and ate all the puppies in the middle of the night oh my gosh and yeah, yeah. it was like that brigham anytime nothing. you say something about wolves brigham's eyes get big oh, i'll tell you a story about wolves there was an 87 foot fence in front of my neighbor's house and they had 14 maybe 87 puppies in their yard and those wolves jumped over that 87 foot fence and they freaking mangled them all didn't even eat them they just wanted to kill them jumped over the fence they were gone they're tater fields everywhere <laughs> silos the freaking wolf can hide wherever he wants he he's probably sitting up in the john deere right now just looking over at us like yep I'm those are two different it. stories you just mixed up well, that's the thing is they all they all melt together. So that's that's kind of what I hear. But I hadn't, I wasn't there for any either of those. I don't know, but yeah, apparently there's a story where wolves snuck in and killed some dogs, all on the wild land of Rexburg, Idaho. Rexburg, Idaho. All right. Well, Ashton, Idaho. How about you mash the thumbs up? Tell us if you want to hear more of these. Uh, just. Yeah, we've got them. Podcasts, because we've got them. Yes. Yeah, we can have, and and uh, Brigham's brother Cade works with us now too. So, worst case scenario, we Double just have them share a, a seat and talk into the same mic. Except Cade's bigger than me, so. I know, but you're still both pretty minuscule. That's fair. So, anyway, solid work, Brig. You didn't embellish too much. These additions, like if you're listening to this on one of our podcasting channels you're probably going to want to watch the youtube version of this too because <laughs> it's going to have some gold it's going to <laughs> dude no let's think about it though like if if you didn't even play the tweeting i know but mountain lion. i can't i if i play a video here i have to proof it first so what if there's like profanity in the video like the cougar goes, meow, and you have some room. Oh, my. It's a trail cam of 
a mountain lion. Yeah, but what if there's a guy like explaining it? He's I, like very the video you're gonna click. All right. I have seen it. It's okay. This is it's okay. Line. Okay. This is what we have to deal with. <laughs> All right. This is what we get us arguing. Curtis is shaking his head. He's really <laughs> chuckling a little bit. Uh, yeah. What am I having for dinner tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no doubt. All right. So just to, to recap, neither uh, mountain lions nor badgers are dangerous to human beings, especially in the state of Utah where Brigham lives and fishes. And all those stories are very entertaining for us. Maybe yeah. just little less worry on your part big brig i don't worry you don't worry that's why you had bear spray that you sprayed yourself with and almost died i had bear spray because why of did a, you have bear spray because of a bear and you were worried about the bear yeah where what was on the other side of the finger cheech i don't know a cougar that already had its food it's like the people that slow down for the trooper that already has someone pulled over, right? <laughs> he's got that guy pulled over. You can go as fast as you want past him because he's already got his meal, right? So freaking cougar's killing the deer. You don't need to tippy toe around. He's freaking munching on a four point down there. There was a fly fisherman that died in Yellowstone last year. Do you remember why? Why? Or was it two years ago? Because he stumbled a upon a bear i know it's a bear a same grizzly concept bear that had buried an elk grizzly bear yes yeah that's a different game it's still a predator with its food yeah but that that's like saying guess what that's like t trying to take a donut from you yeah Ooh. i would agree yeah so don't do that you know that that's <laughs> going to happen if you take a donut from me <laughs> all right jeez oh, all right oh, enough but that was fun that was fun Thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe. All that Peace stuff. out.